The truth is, unless you let go, unless you forgive yourself, unless you forgive the situation, unless you realize that the situation is over, you cannot move forward. Welcome to Authentic Talks, you guys. I'm super excited. It's 2020. Happy New Year. I wanted to come on and talk with you guys because this is the first time that I'm doing a solo show for this year. The last three shows that we've had were we had guests on the show and then we're going to resume guests starting next week again. I hope that you guys are doing great on your 2020 goals, but I wanted to jump in and talk with those of you who may be struggling to let go of things in the past and you're having a hard time with being focused on today. I know that a lot of times things happen and we focus on them or we don't want things to change and we think about the old friendships. We think about the old Uh, job. We think about the old relationships and all of the things that we thought were really amazing in our life. We think about sometimes the old beliefs and not being able to let them go. We think about old pain. We sometimes have old expectations that others have had set for our life and just having a really hard time with letting go of those things that no longer serve us. And I wanted to talk with you today if you're having a tough time with pressing forward. I just wanted to encourage you that it's time to ditch the backpack of all of the things that you are no longer in need of at this point in your life. It's time to let it go because these are things that can potentially interfere with your growth. It's basically a new season and that's what's so beautiful about having a brand new year to start every single year in this 12 month cycle is that it gives us an opportunity to start over. It gives us an opportunity to set new goals and to set Uh, new aspirations that we're trying to obtain and for us to really analyze our lives and to look at all different sorts of things that's been happening in our life and to regroup. It's amazing that we get to regroup. Whenever we're thinking about these goals and moving forward in our new season, the reason why we really want to let these things go is because it's all about self-love It's about self-confidence. It's about self-growth. It is about self-awareness. And it is about self-empowerment. These are all the reasons why we want to let those things go because it gets in the way of us becoming our authentic self when we're not able to let go of the past. One of the things about uh, the past is that we can't change it. The only thing that we can do is move from this point where we are today and forward and making a conscious decision each day that we're going to keep moving forward every single day. Oftentimes we do think about things that's happened in the past because it also helps us with knowing that we don't want to go down that path again. And it helps us to uh, remember what that felt like so that when we see it again, even if it looks slightly different, we're able to identify, aha, I've been through that before. And this was the outcome. So this is what I'm going to do so I can be able to let that go or move it out of my way. You guys, it's kind of like having a pair of jeans, your favorite pair of jeans, and you love how they fit. You're like, these are amazing. They're super comfortable. But then after a while, they start to get old and and kind of raggly. They get additional holes in them that don't look cool. Not like the stylish holes and cuts that we see nowadays on the jeans. But they just get to a point where they're just really falling apart. And you pick them up and you look at those jeans and you're like, I love these jeans. I don't want to let them go. And then you just realize, like, I I have to let them go. It's going to require too much stitching, too much work. And so once you let those jeans go, guess what happens? You get a new pair. So it's amazing. You end up falling in love with those new pair of jeans. You end up allowing those to become your favorite new pair. And you may even be able to get an additional couple pair once you got rid of the one pair. So now you have 
multiple pairs of jeans. So that's like just an example of what happens in our lives when we are able to let go of old baggage and and when we're able to just understand that sometimes in these friendships that we had, the season is up and it's time for us to move forward. How many of you guys have had friendships that ended once you got on your spiritual journey or once you started moving forward in your life's purpose and you shared it with these friends and then they were not happy for you? They basically uh, end up not calling you. They couldn't stand to hear you share your joy. They couldn't stand to hear the news about you having a new car you getting a new job or you starting a a new venture in your life but yet whenever they have things that would happen in their life you were one of their biggest cheerleaders and sometimes it's it's sad to say that some people uh, find solace in other people's uh, lack of success and so whenever you are not doing great in your life they're right there with you they're like oh yeah tell me more tell me more about all of the things that were happening to you that were not good but as soon as things turn around and your life starts moving in the correct path that it's supposed to and you're now moving forward in your purpose and you're so excited and you're like I'm doing this and I'm doing that and that person is no longer wanting to talk with you they no longer can stand to hear Uh, from you because now things are going well in your life and it and it puts them in a position where they now feel like they have to step their game up they feel like they are now lacking in their life because instead of them being happy for you everything you're telling them they're comparing it to their life instead of them being happy and understanding like girl good job you doing it so I know I'm next that's the right attitude is that you're supposed to be happy for others the law the law of attraction the way that works a part of that is you having a sense of gratitude and joy or happiness for other people's success you can't walk around being uh, jealous or envious and hateful about other people's success and then uh, running away from friendships because you feel like you can't stand to hear the good things that are happening in someone else's life and expect something good is going to come back your way until you you grow you have to grow and get to a place where you're able to be happy for others oftentimes when this happens in our life when friendships end uh, when that season is up it really is doing us a favor because the way it works is that they were there just for a period of time. And sometimes once they get their self, themselves in order, or their life starts to line up the way that they want it to. Sometimes they will circle back in your life again and you're like, girl, I don't even know what happened. What happened? And they're like, I don't even know. I was in a bad place. And you're just like, okay, you know, you're able to let it go the bad stuff and 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 sometimes people can move on with rekindling those friendships but until then I just I am here to encourage you that it is okay um, that those people have moved on and that you're able to move forward into your life purpose and that they're not no longer a distraction in your life another thing that is good to let go of is procrastination this was something that I had that had started to become a habit I would say oh I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do it later and I still have this you guys I've been wanting to go on a hike and I have made a commitment that once I go the first time I know I'm going to want to keep going I stopped for a while because it was summer and now we're in a great season it's beautiful outside it's a little chilly but I have like sweatsuits and Uh, hats and things that I could put on and so I'm excited because that is something that I'm definitely going to implement very very soon and I have even invited um, a couple of people that I recently met um, and mentioned to them that we can add that in and we can go hiking together so then that way I'm now making myself be more accountable for sticking to it because I now have someone else to go with me so we can make this a group thing if they like it I know I already enjoy hiking if they like it then we can continue to hike together and make it something that we do maybe twice a month 
So I actually have this written down uh, that I need to revisit letting go procrastination uh, when it comes to my hiking. So that's something that if you have procrastination in your life, you can analyze it and see what areas it is that you have it in. We all are human and we all have different things that it could apply to and only you know your life. So you, you can analyze it and see if procrastination is something that you need to let go of. Another one for some people could be maybe self-destructive habits. And this could look a little bit like in your head, you're constantly telling yourself negative things. There's just so many areas. This could be like where you're over drinking, self-destructive behaviors, drugs, any of those things like that. This is something that, um, you know, if you know that you go down that area and you have control over it and you don't need like additional help that you can be able to let it go. The list could go on and on. I I really think that you guys get my point about like being able to let go um, of self-destructive behavior. And in some of the behaviors or different things, depending on what it is that's going on, it's okay to seek help. It's definitely okay to seek help. Some of the ways that people have to get assistance with letting go is through life coach, through therapy. Sometimes it's just through talking to a new friends or family members. It all depends on each individual person. The main goal that you want to have there and keep really at the forefront is being able to let go. It's all about letting go. Now, sometimes when you start overanalyzing or or sitting down and thinking about everything, you could start saying to yourself, I need to let go of this and I need to let go of this also and this and that and this. If it becomes where it's overwhelming and it's too many things, what you have to do is bring it back in and then focus on the one thing that you could let go that will be make the biggest change in your life that will help you to move forward in the right direction that you're trying to move forward in. And this has happened to me before where I had wrote a list of things that I wanted to accomplish in my life. And when I was done with my list, I was like, okay, so I need to change this and I need to change that. It was like I needed to change so many things that I almost felt discouraged. And so I had to come back to that list and revisit it with a clear mind. And then I had to make a a choice which one of these things is most important to me and which one is going to impact my life in the greatest way if I let it go. And for me at that particular time, I'm just thinking small right now, guys. So for me, it was like soda. I was drinking soda all the time and I was trying to uh, change my diet. And so I had made an entire list of things that I could no longer eat And when I was done, the only thing that I had left was basically like broccoli and I was eating egg whites and and maybe like chicken and, and, and a vegetable. And it was to the point where it was like, wait a minute, this is ridiculous. I still need to have like a cookie or something in my life. But I was able to get rid of the the soda. I was able to get rid of like so many other things, but um, mainly the soda was the main thing that I felt was really impacting me. So I'm, I'm talking with you guys like on a small scale right now. I'm not going like really deep in that area of some of the things that I had to let go. So that was my example for you is like it was soda. So then I still kept in cookies. It's basically all about setting priorities and figuring out which item is going to impact your life the most if you let it go. Letting go is a good thing. Letting go allows us to press forward. Letting go allows us to move into our authentic self. Letting go allows us to grow. Letting go allows us to learn, be able to share, to be able to invite new things in our life. It allows us to replace old things with new things and for us to just realize that that season is over and now it's time for a brand new season. I'm wishing you guys the best of luck on all of your goals, your desires, your dreams, and I hope that they all come true. Just remember, you guys, the answers you seek never come when the mind is busy. They come when the mind is still. We all have a knowing that is within us, but oftentimes we look outside of ourselves for the answers. If you meditate, 
and then get that clear mind, you're going to get the answers and you're going to know exactly what it is that you should be letting go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Shantae with Authentic Talks. Oh,